Hello, today I'm going to show you the free menstrual workup for TAVR in a patient who cannot get IV contrast and instead got a cardiac MRI for annular sizing. You can certainly do a low dose CT angiogram to do, uh, accomplish a root analysis. However, in patients who cannot undergo contrast, you may consider doing a TEE uh, annular sizing plus an MRI or non contrast CT plus an MRI. So here it is. And I'll show you how it works. So you can see that here, I cannot do automatic segmentation uh, because it would not be inaccurate. And you can see that here, it did not give you the correct segmentation. So rather than doing that, you would go back and do a manual segmentation. So when you do manual segmentation, you can see this is the heart. This is the left ventricle coming out to the aortic root. And so what you need to do is to segment the aortic root manually. So you start with the ascending aorta with a dot, and then you come down towards the ventricle and you just start, try to identify a approximate center line going through the aortic valve annulus into the LVOT, as you see here. Now remember this uh, MRI scan could be done in diastolic phase or systolic phase. So it probably diastolic phase will be smaller than expected. Once you're done, you click confirm and you can see this is a approximate center line of the aortic root. Now remember, uh, this it does not have calcium shown here, right? This is an MRI study, but you can see the calcified leaflet in the form of a black line. And so that's how you can determine the annulus. So first of all, you want to make sure this is a clean study with good resolution. You can see that it's pretty good. So I do the same thing now with open red circle by sectioning the left sinus and put a dot on the left upper panel as the base. Then I rotate counterclockwise, bisect the right sinus, and then put it at the right base and then do the same thing as the knot. So here you have a rough idea of what the analysis is. And of course you would go up to make sure these are all in the center line estimation. So now let's fine tune the analyst. You can actually drop the gain or decrease the gain so that you can have a better delineation. And so you basically go up and down to where the sinuses converge into the base of the analyst. You can do the same thing here on the right side. You can see how it converges here. And then you can see the red dot as well, how it comes up and then converges here, maybe a little bit more this way. And then the LVOT, you can also make sure it's in the center. You can see actually in this case, the patient is in diastole because you can see the anterior leaflet is open. So it has to be in diastole. So this, remember, this sizing may be a little bit underestimated versus systole. So I click confirm now. And you can see you get a pretty nice segmentation. I do the same thing as I do with a contrast CT. Trace out the aortic annulus. And you can see that here. Now you want to be a little bit more conservative in your estimate because there is some artifact, obviously. So here's the analyst. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to do the same thing now, cropping close to the these two views and then magnify them. Now, unfortunately, you cannot measure the septal length using MRI. It's just almost, I would say, not possible. So now here, I'm now at the five millimeter cut doing the LVOT analysis. And you can see here, I'll save that as well. So then next you wanna go up to look at the aortic root where the STJ is. Now, sometimes the artifact may make it difficult to look at where the left main takeoff, but you can see that here very nicely. And so you can do a measurement of the sinus to growth junction and label that. This is the sinus height. So you right click onto sinus height. And then you come down to look at the left main separation. Now this is a very nice, clean study for MRI. Sometimes there's more artifact. So to keep that in mind. So I'm gonna also be able to look at the sinus of Salva here. That's the commissure, so the left sinus right sinus going to the commissure, opposite commissure, and then the 
no other sign is going to opposite commissure. So you can see that you can actually see the root anatomy quite well using this software. So you can also do a segmentation with the virtual valve. If I do a balloon expandable valve, you can see that that patient, patient would have fit a 26 millimeter device. You can do custom length. For 20 millimeter height, that's the nominal expansion of a 26 balloon expandable valve. And here you would put 26 millimeter. If I'm going too fast, you can go you look at my other videos on how to segment the root on Fremencio as well. Once you get comfortable doing this, this is almost a second nature on how to do these measurements. It's pretty routine. So now I'm going to do the one millimeter cuts with the circle representing the valve. I'm going to make it circular and then put it into a 26 millimeter circle. You can see that here. And again, doing the same one millimeter slice. You can actually see the leaflets here are, are dark, not bright. It's opposite of uh, CT. So then you go to STJ, the same kind of workup that I do for all our tower cases, you can see how it fits with the aortic root with this 26 millimeter circle. Then you can see here, I'm gonna look at the left main view. You can then scroll up to identify where the right corner takeoff is right here with the solid green circle. Right click to right corner height. This is the kind of the right sinus height. Right click to save the screenshot. Now you're not gonna be able to see the hockey puck view because this is an MRI study or a sending aortic view. However, you can get the angle. So you can see here by going to C arm icon and you click and overlay onto the green dot, you can still get a idea of what the root angle is and what the implant angle is. So let's take a look at the report here. You can see you have the same kind of re report layout, analyst LVOT, the one millimeter cuts, STJ, sinus valsalva, left main, right coronary height, and then finally the root angle and the implant angle. So you can correlate this for non-contrast CT. You can save this to your PDF and share with your heart team. And of course you can also save the session as well for your future reference. So I hope you find this helpful in terms of a tablet workup in a patient who cannot undergo IV contrast and instead have a cardiac MRI for aortic root analysis. And I'll see you next time.